I like the fact that you talk openly about having counseling because uh, I have as well. And sometimes people are shocked that, you know, a pastor would either need counseling or admit it. And I think as, you know, if we believe uh, we can give counsel to help others, we should also humble ourselves to receive counsel. And in many ways, uh, I just see counseling as discipleship. I see someone who's walking with Jesus, helping me uh, deal with issues and walk with Jesus more effectively. So I did, uh, Nikki, it was probably about 18 months ago, maybe 20 months ago, that I went into my last round of um, intensive counseling. And I had a weird thing happen. So I think we all deal with, you know, some anxiety, uh, most likely because we're flawed and sinful human beings. Uh, but I had never, ever dealt with any kind of extreme anxiety. And I just had, it was not a total breakdown, meaning I, I still was able to function, didn't go to the hospital, but I just had a um, panic that came out of nowhere. And mm. there was nothing that really triggered it uh, besides kind of the normal workload. Looking back on it, my counselor and doctor said I just pushed my body past the limit. And uh, it just, my body and it kind of a defense mechanism started shutting down. And there, it was crazy as there was a two week period that I lived and functioned through, but I didn't remember. It, it just like, mm. it was that big of, it was that big of a shutdown. And it, yeah, I still showed up for work, still did family events and um, went to the lake with Amy and had friends out there and just could barely recall anything that happened during that time. And so my mm. body really, really shut down. And so um, interestingly enough, you know, as pastors, we're often trained just to, to attack things spiritually. And we really did. But we also took a holistic approach and looked at scheduling, rhythms. Uh, I'm real strict on my diet and exercise, but even looked at that, looked at supplements, looked at my um, uh, different uh, phys physical levels that you know, from a uh, medical perspective. And so we started making little change by little change. And uh, it took quite a while for it to level out and to get to a place where I wouldn't be easily triggered by anxiety. And what's interesting is I just kind of unpacked this with my counselor and trying to diagnose the success because we really, I went from a dark place, scary place, place of panic to now generally living in daily victory over it and other, other issues. And um, I wish I could tell you, here's what we did, but it kind of boils down to probably seven or eight, and I could, I could name a few, but I don't want to bore anybody, but seven or eight smaller things that we all did and that I worked on discovering, and those seven or eight smaller things led to a big change. It wasn't one thing, but it took a lot of things. And so ultimately, you know, it's embarrassing to say, but um, in my dysfunction of how I was raised, some people's dysfunction puts them out of play others it drives them to do things that are um maybe a little bit more extraordinary uh but it's still dysfunction and it's yeah. and although mine worked for me in terms of getting things done and making an impact it ultimately caught up with me and now what i want to do is continue to have a big impact but do it out of a healthy mindset um rather than an unhealthy one